Hello, everybody. Welcome to Jersey Bayshore Country. Today's episode is all about boating and music. And this is where the Shrewsbury River begins. And we're going to talk about boating and music because they're two of my favorite things to do. As always, I'm your host, John Schneider. And right now, we're above Rumson, New Jersey, and we're looking over at Seabright, which sits on a narrow strip of land between the Shrewsbury River and the Atlantic Ocean. And off in the distance, to our north, is Sandy Hook and Highlands. And there's the Navasink River, or tributary, which flows into the Shrewsbury River and then goes out to Sandy Hook Bay. And the bells are ringing to celebrate the end of 2015. Our segment today is about boating and music, so let's go to John Nicole with an original song called I Don't Play Piano. (laughs) Here he is. You know damn well I don't play piano Cause if I did I'd play you back to me We know so well I don't deserve you But baby I, I simply choose to believe Something happened from high above Something made us fall so damn deep in love Once upon a time, once upon a time when you and I were so young I tried to find the words to say I'm sorry Cause if you'd just forgive me we could be Back again together in our own love story Loving, holding, kissing, so tenderly you and me, the way we used to be. To find the right inflection The harmony we sang throughout the years Nothing ever seems to work And upon reflection I know that absolutely nothing Stops the tears Mm. Nothing ever stops Nothing ever stops the tears Stop the tears Only now When I am playing Can I feel you Deep inside of me With my melody I'm praying Praying hard for what could be Oh, you and me The way we used to be You know, baby Tell me you feel
damn well I don't play piano I don't play piano because baby if I did If I played piano I'd play you back to me Oh yeah we know we know so damn well I don't I don't deserve you No 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 but baby I simply choose I simply choose to believe I simply choose to believe Oh yeah I simply choose to believe Something made us fall so deep in love I simply choose to believe Believe Next, here's one of the great boating facilities which is owned and operated by the Monmouth County Park System. Many of these parks have been featured on Jersey Bay Shore Country. Here it is. Welcome to Monmouth Cove Marina, owned and operated by the Monmouth County Park System and a great place to keep your boat, go fishing, or socialize with friends. Just minutes from exit 117 of the Garden State Parkway, Monmouth Cove Marina is located in beautiful Port Monmouth, a waterfront village with public beaches, historic homes, and fishing piers or jetties. The largest body of water besides the Atlantic Ocean is Raritan Bay, and New York City can be clearly visible on the other side. Monmouth Cove Marina is kind of nestled in the, uh, the Bayshore Waterfront Park, about 15 minutes from the uh, tip of the hook, right, to about 20 minutes over there to Staten Island. You know, the fishing, you know, is right out here. We're about a mid-range marina. You know, we're not too cheap and we're not, you know, we're not in a real expensive place. So we'll do haul-out services, uh, all basic things, shrink wrapping, power washing, uh, the wet slips, a rack service. You know, so the things that we do inside this marina, uh, our staff is able to concentrate on those things more than other places. You know, so we do what we do. You know, is limited, but we do it very well. You know, we do it with customer service here. You know, that's the way we stand out. In many ways, the marina feels a bit like a private, secluded club where you can bring your family and friends to spend a day or a weekend, both on or off the water because there's lots to do either way. Just like all the facilities of the Monmouth County Park System, the marina is clean, well run, protected from storms, and loaded with picnic areas and grills, as well as restrooms and showers. It's also secure because someone from the park system lives on the premises to watch over the marina 24 hours a day. And if you're a resident of Monmouth County, well, you get a 20% discount. Not bad, right? A fueling station is also available. fairly secluded and quiet unless someone decides to throw a party when they come back from a fishing trip they've been out on all day. Here's somebody who can testify a bit about their own experience here. We like to cruise a little bit, we like to fish a lot, you know, mostly when fluke season starts, do a lot of fluking. It's in a cove and when there's nor'easters, most other marinas the boats are rocking and rolling, you come down here and the boats are sitting just like they are right now. You know, you may have to throw another line on, but it is nice and calm in here. We all meet down here uh, basically Friday and uh, figure out who's going to cook or everybody brings food down and we cook and then Saturday we go out fishing and Saturday night we all get together and eat again and then Sunday morning we have a big breakfast. Everybody pitches in we have a nice big breakfast, there's probably about six or seven boats involved and uh, after breakfast we all go out fishing. 
they have a couple grills up here. They fill up the tanks whenever they run dry. They're great. They fix anything that's wrong. Uh, we cook out almost every weekend. Most everybody on this dock, a couple docks over, there'll be well, 30, 40 people. And everybody brings a dish. Hmm. <laughs> oh, man, sounds great, doesn't it? You know, if you had a boat, finding a marina with just the right environment may be almost as important as the facilities and services. Well, welcome to Monmouth Cove Marina. We have 155 wet slips in the marina, right, and approximately 65 racks. You know, you get access to your boat 24-7. You know, have the fuel dock here, right, we had the lifting services here for you, uh, bathrooms, showers, you know, shrink wrapping services, power washing service. You have floating cement docks in here, which is unique to us. In your pricing with us also, your water is included, you know, your electric's included in the wet slip pricing. And basically it's just really the ease of the use of the boat. And don't forget that the marina is also part of Bayshore Waterfront Park. With its two spacious and clean beaches, and the historic Seabrook Wilson House with its exhibits inside, a large picnic area outside, and a brand new fishing pier extending into Raritan Bay. It all sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Perfect location, excellent facilities, clean, safe, and secure. So wherever you decide to dry or wet dock your boat, Monmouth Cove Marina could very well be the standard by which you decide. It's been a popular place for boaters who are looking for something a little different, maybe even a little better than other marinas they visited. This is where I'm tying up for the night. How about you? Make sure you visit all the parks of the Monmouth County Park System. Hello everybody, here's Raritan Bay, as you know, and here is Port Monmouth, New Jersey, and to the north, almost due north, is Great Kills in Staten Island. We're going to take a boat trip. We're leaving from Port Monmouth, and we're leaving from the Monmouth Cove Marina, which is owned and operated by the Monmouth County Park System. As we leave, there's Atlantic Highlands over in our right, and already we see the southern part of Staten Island on our left, and there is the outer boundary of the peninsula called Great Kills. It really is a fascinating place. It's located on a peninsula in Staten Island, and it's uh, a park. There it is, see it? It's a cove, really. And it's Great Kills Park. It's part of the Gateway National Recreation Area, which is just like Sandy Hook. It's 580 acres of open space where people can enjoy lots of stuff, recreational uh, opportunities, explore wildlife, and uh, they can relax on the beach, go for a swim. There's lifeguards. You can hike, bike, run on the trails. It really is nice, and um, Great Kills Park is known locally for its ecological resources. It's home to the only osprey nesting site on Staten Island, and you'll see uh, some special nesting platforms uh, when you get here, and some beautiful boats in this cove, really nice. The name Great Kills uh, comes from a Dutch word meaning many creeks and today these uh, particular waters are pretty popular with boaters and, and fishermen. There it is, there's the Great Kills Yacht Club again. Now the history here is pretty simple. In about 1860 there was a businessman, his name was John Crook. Crook, yes, Crook, with an E. <laughs> And he was a uh, pioneering naturalist back in those days. And he purchased the point of this particular peninsula. And he lived in a log cabin on the, uh, on the shore. He spent a lot of time photographing the natural space and collecting plant and animal specimens. And in 1929, the city of New York bought Crook's Point, as it was called, as well as the surrounding properties to develop into a park, which they did. And uh, today, Great Kills Park is a national park site, and it became so in 1973. Here's some park officials, or, or the police, I'm not sure what. It's 
So we just took a spin around the cove, took a look at all the boats. This is the southern side of the cove. There's uh, some dock and dine opportunities. There's some fueling stations here. So if you come over, fret not, you can fill up your tank with gas. Lots of people walking along the paths, lots of people having picnics. Now we're leaving where we came in. Here's somebody coming into the uh, Great Kills. Another beach over there. And there's the channel marker. So here we go, back across Raritan Bay, back to the Jersey Bay Shore. I hope you enjoyed seeing just a little glimpse of Great Kills in Staten Island, New York. It's always fun to get out and see the world, isn't it? Okay, we took our boat ride. Now here's some more music from a band called the Highlands Jazz Band playing at Havana's in Highlands, New Jersey.
Finally on our program, uh, I'm out of my boat here. Uh, I, I wanted to share with you the end of my boating adventures, at least during the year 2015. You know, I loved my little boat, wasn't very big, didn't go very fast, and I would frequently take you out, uh, well, at least vis-a-vis -vis the camera, with me for an adventure. And during 2015, I invited lots of friends to go out with me, and one of my good friends, and photographer Nancy Kravis, a.k.a. Nancy Ellen Photography, uh, uh, joined me on one of my boating excursions in Keyport Bay. Unfortunately, within about 30 minutes of being on the water with Nancy, my outboard motor died, and I had to use a plastic oar to row back to the boat ramp. It was exhausting. It was a struggle. But Nancy was so gracious and was able to document the trip with her camera, and she even put together the following slideshow of her photographs using one of my original songs. Here it is. You know people ask me why I like to sing the blues I'm always so damn happy And I always spread the news Baby There's something deep down in me That loves to cry the blues Baby, won't you cry? Won't you cry with me? Something about the blues Makes me wanna weep I love the journey inward Where it's dirty, dark, and deep I love to feel the blues Just flowing through my bones mm. I love to hear the wail of that old Dirty blues saxophone
bad Honey, I like to be happy But I love to be sad I love the blues Sing the blues all night and day Well, I want to thank Nancy, and I want to thank John Nicole and the Highlands Jazz Band, and everybody who always helps me put together these television shows. And I want to thank you, my audience. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, if you see me out there, don't hesitate to tap me on the shoulder and say hello, because there's nothing more important than meeting you. So long, everybody. Happy New Year.